All right, welcome to my channel, or welcome back. I'm Intuitive Empress. Thank you for coming to the table to be nourished by the spiritual food that is being served with, for you on today. This is a general message. General, general, it is not personal. You may find some things that resonate with you, but it is not 100% for you. You would have to get a personal message for that. I'm reading for 13,000 people that are subscribed. Um, 13,500 approximately were a little under that. So please keep that in mind. Take only what is to you and leave the rest. Please do not choke on the bones. We've been having people choke up on the bones here lately. So please do not choke on the bones. All right. Anything concerning me is in the description. Personal readings, your free birth chart, so you know all about you. My Etsy shop, where I do have oracle cards that you can use if that is what you desire, as well as some other things and tools that will help you. Please hit the join button if you want to join me um, on some spiritual teaching, spiritual warfare. Um, working in your gifts and in your callings and things like that, you'll be able to ask questions um, during that time. Okay? So, we are going to get into this general message. Thank you to my subscribers. I do appreciate each and every one of you. All right. We are going to be using the Illuminated Path. Hello? Mm. So we are starting out with the victory card. There is victory in here. And excuse me, I have to turn on my lights here. All right. And we have the high priestess card. Someone who is spiritually enlightened. Someone who has spiritual insight. So there is some victory coming into the high priestess. Okay. Hmm. You are sharp and quick-witted by the Queen of Swords. Okay. There is an ending coming and an offer from the Most High, a divine love offer coming in. This could be the love of the divine in your life, the Most High in your life. Okay. Holy Spirit, heavenly angels of the Most High God, Father God, Yeshua. Please give us clear messages. Ooh, that jumped right out. Yeah, there is some enlightenment that is coming to you. And some optimism. You're going to be an optimist. All right? Things are looking good. Are going to be looking good for you. Hmm. After you had to fight, there is opposition. There is competition. There are arguments um, that have come out and come into play. Hmm. This could be someone who's waiting for their ships to come in, or you could be waiting for your ships to come in. This is someone who um, doesn't really do too much. We see storms and storm clouds around them. Lightning flashes. All right? Because this person has third-party situations and love triangles wow hmm judgment has hit the building judgment has hit the building all right you have started answering the call on your life but there is also judgment that comes from for this person this charming romantic person this person who comes in and is pretending to have feelings, right? Because that's why the judgment card is there. It came right before the judgment card. Okay? So there is judgment coming hmm. in this situation. Let's get some clarity. Hmm. I do see that there is a new partner, partnership and companionship coming for you. We are going to find out who this person 
in and what, what are they all about? What is the situation? Holy Spirit. Hmm. Wow. But we do. We're going to find out who this person is. Holy Spirit, who is this person? This is a family member or a past connection. That's the season of judgment. This is someone who was distant when they were with you. Or this person that's with you has now become distant. This past family member or connection. Hmm. This person could be even at a distance for you. Hmm. Okay, the card came out in the reverse. We had long term, but it's in the reverse. So this is, was a short term situation for some of you. For some of you, it was a long term situation. We have a Capricorn also coming out. We have Pisces coming out. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Hmm. We have someone who's coming in to offer resources and stability, or that is the guy that they're coming in as. Hmm. So for some of you, if this is someone who's actually going to be offering resources, this is a soulmate energy that is part of the judgment. Hmm. We have a Scorpio. Somewhere in the chart who's coming in as a karmic or who was karmic in your life. Anything else? Hmm. Hmm. So you have a friend, acquaintance, a co-worker if that's showing as a karmic energy. We have Gemini energy could be yours or theirs. Taurus, yours or theirs. Hmm. Right now, you could be mirroring with your soulmate is going there. Hmm. Yeah, this song, this karmic connection with the short term energy. So that's why that came out. You have someone coming in that's going to be there for the long term, but then you have someone that was there for the short term or will be in your life for the short term. They could be under the sign of the dragon. Check those dates out. I'm going to turn on this light too. Alright. So hopefully you can see the card a little bit better. The sign of the dragon. Check those dates there. Hmm. Alright. We're going to clear this deck here. Alright, well, what else is going on, Holy Spirit? What else is going on? When it comes to this connection. Hmm. I'm going to go with the mystic. Holy Spirit, what else is going on? Hmm, this person might be trying to seduce you, hook up with you. Or you could have someone who is in a third party situation. Um, and they're seducing that person, this karmic energy. We have somebody who's looking at pictures of you, nostalgia. Somebody who may want to make new memories with you. Yeah, someone's going to be calling, expressing their love, messages of love, thinking of you. Hmm. We have self-love and self-care. You're taking care of yourself at this time. You're making healthy choices when it comes to food, when it comes to your mental health, your mental state. You're keeping the negative energy out of your life. Hmm. Hmm. You may be even spending some time with friends, happily single, living in a moment. But there is someone that's trying to sabotage, petition, 
um, persistent in trying to sabotage. Hmm. With the hammer card. Anything else will be spirit. Mm. This person wants you to chase them for fear of abandonment. They want you to be full dependent. But I'm not getting that energy from you. Wow. Again, we have the reminiscing card. We have somebody who might want to propose to you. You could be getting engaged to your soulmate or this person. This karmic energy might be coming in trying to offer you that higher level of commitment to keep you. Hmm. Wow. We do have the teddy bear energy. There is someone interested in you and want to date you. You could be meeting up with this person, talking, savoring the moment, building this connection. All right. We're going to wrap up this message all right so we're gonna go with the should i or shouldn't i will we still what should this person or what are they gonna do we see something better is coming into your life because you started taking um, care of yourself. Shift your focus on those positive things. Wow. What else, Holy Spirit? And the resources that you need are coming in for you. I'm going to end this message here. I do thank you for joining me at the table. And I'll see you again for another meal next time. Bye-bye.